Elite Facts presents 10 Pranks That Went Horribly Wrong 10. What started off as an innocuous April Fool's prank soon saw one man's life come crashing down. He decided to text his girlfriend that their relationship was over, waiting for her to have a rant before revealing it was all a prank. Little did he know she was sick of him already and agreed to the split as mutual and called his bluff. She was very happy with herself, while he was in tears over the incident. 9. Madrid police received several calls from worried bystanders, saying that two masked gunmen had rushed a victim at gunpoint into a black Mercedes in Salamanca in Spain. Days later, Jose Manuel Conde was browsing the Spanish newspaper El Mundo when he saw the kidnapping story and realized they were talking about his stag party. Conde said the prank was his friend David's idea with the help of a third man. Conde's friends parked the car and put on their balaclavas. David and his friend captured Conde and friends, covered their heads with bags, and threw them into the trunk of the Mercedes. 8. Gooby was cited for unlawful disposal of a dead animal. He got a $500 fine to pay. Gooby said he got the idea for the practical joke from the film National Lampoon's Vacation when Chevy Chase's character ties a live dog to the bumper at a rest stop, forgets, and drives away. Paul Gooby was driving when he found a dead animal in the street. Paul took the thing back to work and decided to dispose of the animal by tying one end of a rope to the dog's neck and the other end to the bumper of his co-worker's pickup truck. The co-worker dragged the dead animal for two miles before a motorist caught his attention. 7. Tyel Morton wanted to play a practical joke on his female peers, so he put a blow-up sex doll in a bathroom stall on the last day of school. A janitor saw Morton run away from the school, and security footage showed a person in a hooded sweatshirt and gloves entering the school with a package and leaving five minutes later without it. They locked down the school and again, in came the canines, the cops, and the bomb squad. Morton was charged with disorderly conduct and mischief, which could have landed him eight years in prison, but the charges were expunged. 6. Four teenagers decided to play a very evil practical joke called Fire in the Hole on a Subway Employee. Inspired by a popular internet video, the teenagers ordered food and paid for it before throwing the hot sauce drink at the subway employee screaming, Fire in the Hole! The culprits confessed to the incident and four similar pranks at local restaurants. The employee took five days to fully recover his vision and it could have been much worse. 5. Young Susan Tinker had an April Fool's Day to forget after she called the cops to her work at Waffle House for a prank. She told them about an armed robbery taking place and thinking they'd send a car over, put the phone down. Soon enough, the cavalry arrived. Cops, canine teams and even a SWAT team arrived to catch the perpetrator. Tinker has been charged with falsely summoning the police and faced a $2,500 fine. 4. A 13-year-old girl in Valencia, Spain decided to play a dumb prank on her dad. She held up a sign in the car while they were driving along which read, Help! I'm being kidnapped! Her father was oblivious, but a Spanish cop saw the sign and soon enough, the car was pulled over by a huge police roadblock. The father was pulled from the car at gunpoint before the girl admitted her prank. 3. Randy Wood decided it'd be hilarious to call his wife to come home for a big surprise. She left work and traveled the 30-minute trip home only to find her husband in a horrifying state. There he was, hanging from a tree in their yard. She saw this from quite a way down the street and called the cops immediately. As per protocol, along came cops, fire trucks, and an ambulance to aid in the situation. The problem was, Randy was using a lineman's harness to fake the whole thing. He was fined $1,000 and jailed for a year. 2. A married man decided it would be a good idea to prank his wife and call in reinforcements from a popular radio show. 
The radio host was going to reveal his marital indiscrepancies on the phone to her and she was to act all shocked. She was anything but remorseful. Awkward. 1. In 2007, 19-year-old Chris Sheeby called 911 and identified himself as a military man who had returned from Iraq to find his wife had cheated on him. So, in a fit of madness, he shot a hostage and barricaded himself inside a Severna Park home. Shibi told the hostage negotiator he had an assault rifle and was with three other Marines. After closing roads and bringing in a special response team, police determined that the elaborate scenario was a hoax. At the home, a couple answered the phone and said that everything was fine. Other alleged calls involved a September 5 report of a shooting in the Carrollton Manor community of Severna Park and a September 10 bomb threat at Severna Park High School. A 911 dispatcher recognized the voice from a call for a shooting in Carrollton Manor days earlier. Police then determined that the two cell phones used in the hostage case had also been used in the shooting and bomb threat calls. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.